All right, sir. Get your hands up. Campus police. Is that for real? Put down that. <laughs> Get back down. <laughs> Sorry, Benzo could not resist that. Hey guys, Benzo here. Welcome back for another patrol. We're going to be doing a campus style patrol today at the University here at Los Santos. And I want to kind of show you this uh, vehicle here. Basically it's just uh, more or less a golf court if you will. And you can see I've got the, let me put this in the first person, a little bit of the liveries. You know, I changed up a little bit. Not much to uh, really brag about, but it's, you know, working lights, working siren, all that. But we'll be doing a little bit of campus patrol today, and we have GTA Comes Alive installed, and I kind of wanted to do, you know, have that installed rather than, you know, doing a lot of callouts because there's not really a lot of callouts that's going to be on the campus itself. So we'll uh, we'll just kind of go through the actual campus and maybe question some people, and then also handle you know any random events that may come our way. But uh, yeah, I was kind of looking for an appropriate uniform as well, and uh, this may not be exactly the perfect style of uniform. More of a correction officer, detention officer uniform, but that's okay. To be honest, I was a little bit lazy and didn't want to look for a uh, security style uniform. Kind of like what this officer here has on. Would have been maybe a little bit more appropriate. Right there. That's alright. But we're, uh, they're more security, we're actual police, so. Anyway, we'll hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you smash that like button, guys. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you're really into uh, LSPDFR style videos, make sure you come back and visit me as I upload fairly often. Okay, we've got a vehicle right here. <laughs> and yes, I will uh, pull him over. In a golf cart. Okay, he was driving a little bit erratic there, so uh, I don't think he's probably ever been pulled over by a golf cart before. So uh, anyway, we'll we'll get out. I'll approach this vehicle right here. See what's going on. Okay, sir. The reason why I pulled you over is uh, you were driving a little bit erratic there, and some reason you got two females that are acting very squirrely right here. Let me turn off this. Hold on one second. Thanks. Let me go ahead and get his uh, get your identification there, sir. Okay, this is Harvey Kent. Let me go back here and we'll look him up real fast. So one second, Mr. Kent. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's look him up real fast. Harvey Kent. Okay, he does have an expired license. No active warrants right now at the moment. But uh, I'm kind of interested to see why. Let me see if I can get uh, the identification of the passengers here. Okay, we have Kira Kais and then Anna Souza. Let me look them up real fast. Gonna stand back over here and look them up. Let me look her up first. Okay. I th let me see if I hopefully I get this one right. I really don't remember how to spell it. Nah. Let's look up the uh, the brief real fast. See what the brief shows. Uh, let's see here. Was it uh, oh Soza, just an S? I almost had it. And uh, okay, both of the females look okay. Let me question this driver real fast if he's had anything to drink or not. Like I said, I, dr I uh, witnessed him actually driving very recklessly right around the campus here. So let me question him real fast. Um, have you had anything to drink today? He's automatically wanting his lawyer. Not a good sign for you there, bud. Take any drugs or anything? See my vision, those flowers? Hell no. Okay. 
Okay, anything in the vehicle that shouldn't be there. He said, you never know, sometimes people borrow my car. That is true, but you are responsible for your car right now, are you not? Okay. Let's see what we're going to do. Let's, uh, I don't think he's probably going to blow anything, but let's go ahead and, uh, okay, I'm going to have you blow into this uh, breathalyzer for me, please. Okay. And then if you'll do one more favor for me, go ahead and, uh, do this drug laser, please. And these females sure still are acting squirrely here. Okay, he is positive actually to cocaine. There you can see at the bottom left of my screen there. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the, uh, first of all, I'm going to shut down this area right here. I'm going to go ahead and ask the uh, driver out of the vehicle here. Okay, sir. Put your hands behind your back, please. Get your hands behind your back, and the two women that just ran off. I don't like that. That's okay. There's not much we can really do about them running off. And I can't really call for backup either. They won't go and uh, get those people there. But you can see how he's walking. I don't know if you saw that. All right, Mitch, can't get back over here, please. All right, sir, you don't have anything that's going to poke me or anything like that. Mind if I frisk you down? All right, hold still, please. We're just going to frisk him down real fast. Okay. All right, have a seat, please. We'll go ahead and call in for a uh, pickup. Backup required for a suspect placed under arrest in hey uh, Richmond. We copy him. On standby. Yeah. Roger. The uh, passenger and the back seat ladies decided to run off on me. And, uh,. I tell you what, let's uh, let's go ahead and search his vehicle as well. Let's do a simple search real fast and see if he's okay. We'll do one more little area right here. We won't search the entire thing because I want to go ahead and uh, keep the episode moving. Here we go. All right. All right, dispatch. I'm gonna need to get a uh, tow truck at my location at Picture Perfect Drive. Roger that. You from Stupidville? And then dispatch, if you'll do me a favor, can you give me a plate check on this uh, jackal here? It's gonna be six zero Paul Queen Victor eight five one. Appreciate that. Roger. Just wanna get a DMV report on this. Six zero Paul Queen Victor eight five one no ten ninety nine. Yeah, if you look at the register donor, it's registered to Marco de, de Jesus, and he's got four citations. Uh, doesn't look like it may be reported stolen necessarily, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and have him uh, towed away here. You can see my police tow truck right there. Okay, and then we'll just consider our. Uh, Cells 10 8 there, dispatch. Ocean 21. We are 10 8. Roger that. And we'll get back around the campus here. And once again, we uh, we do have GTA comes live. And right before I started recording, matter of fact, I may make it my thumbnail. I had a clown come out here with a freaking hatchet on the college campus. And I wish I had uh, cut that on tape. But uh, alas, I was not recording yet. I was getting set up. And uh, actually, I was choosing my thumbnails and things like that. But it happens. Okay. And we'll just keep going along here and see if we get any kind of GTA. GTA Live comes to fruition here. We'll see if that happens. ULSA. But yeah, these are working lights. <laughs> and I got this off the GTA 5 mod site. And uh, it still had a lot of the golf cart characteristics. But I uh, decided to put some different liveries on there. It's nothing spectacular, obviously. I'd like it to look much better, but that's alright. For this episode, I think it's okay. 
what we got going on here? Okay, this is where all the students park their cars. Sounds like we got a car alarm going off. And I'm not sure what the hold up here. We got some people that are parking irregular, but... We'll just go down here just for a second. Yeah, like I said, we're just doing kind of basic, uh, you know, police work. Let's see if we can navigate around the stadium here. Got our lights on since we're around certain areas. Here we go. Okay. And uh, probably heard my phone right there. Those are notifications from you guys. There, you're a part of my YouTube channel now. <laughs> some of you guys were replying to some of my videos. And uh, this little golf cart will get on in a little bit. Nothing uh, dramatic or anything. Got another vehicle. That's coming up on me right here. See how he's driving right there? Yeah, got you again. Oh, we're going code three. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll go code three in this golf cart. Oh, come on, man. Go get him, guys. This is probably not going to work, but. We'll have fun anyway. <laughs> We're going code three. Pursuit here. Let's see if I can slow him down. I'm trying to slow him down so that the officers can get in here, man. Come on. Here, I know what I can do. Let's um let's do full out aggression. Here we go. See if I can get him here. All right, sir, get down. Get down. I will put two bullet holes right in your chest before you can blink. That's funny. And yes, you just had a uh, police cart pull you over. How's that make you feel? Okay, hold still, sir. Do you have anything in your pockets that may poke me? Get him back over here. We get over here, sir. Here, we'll get him. Uh, we'll get him picked up. Let's see if I can search him real fast. Okay, let's pretend we're searching him because he. I wanted to try to search him before he walked off. That's all right. And uh, let's search his vehicle real fast, why don't we? No. Okay. We'll just go ahead and just tow him off. Uh, dispatch, we need a uh, tow truck here at my location at Rockford Drive. Roger that. Thanks. Come on! I've got to kick my hands up! And let's see here. Let's try it one more time. And there we go. Bye. Okay. Let's get back towards the uh, college campus. Give me one moment here. Okay, we are now back in college campus here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got a clown on the uh, college campus over here. Not like literally a clown. I don't mean like someone acting like one. And he's got, looks like a gas tank, gas can in his hand. All right, sir. Get your hands up. Campus police. Is that for real? Put down that. Get back down. <laughs> Sorry, Benzo could not resist that. You knew that was coming, right? I know uh, the Cove SF was uh, expecting that. <laughs> this guy's name is Joan Gray. Come back this way, sir. I don't know why in the hell you had a uh, gas can out here and I'm just going to pat him down real fast. 
Anything else you're gonna have in on you, sir? No. It's got some packaged drugs. Huh, interesting. Why don't you have a seat? And then I was gonna look him up real fast to see if he had anything. I think it was pronounced G R A Y. Okay, no active warrants or anything. Surprised I didn't kill him, that Jerry's gas. <laughs> you know? Okay. Dispatch, I need a uh, pickup here at my location. Picture of her from Rush. In Richmond. Roger. And there's his, uh, and, uh, thank you, sir, for being my intro to my video. Appreciate that. Okay, let's get back on patrol. Sometimes you just know what's going to be the intro to the v the actual video. Yeah, that'll be the intro. Here, let's actually turn back around this way. That's uh, part of GTA Comes Alive, by the way. And it probably was an event that happened probably a few minutes ago, and I didn't see it happen. And uh, he was just kind of stagnant and just kind of, you know, standing around or something. Alright, I hope you appreciate the style of uh, episode. It's something a little different. And of course, if you like, you know, the regular police cars and those kinds of things, I'd I would invite you to go watch my other videos. I got over 265 videos and counting. And right now we're just kind of, like I said, just kind of patrolling around right now. I'm going to go back around this way. We're going to cut across the lawn here. And we can monitor a little bit of traffic around the actual campus. But nothing dramatic or anything. That lady's taking a picture of his car. It looks like he was actually posing for an actual picture, too. It's funny. Okay, let's investigate this real fast. We have a uh, car right here with its. It's got a actual alarm system going off here. Dispatch. Ocean 21, I need a uh, play check on a Washington 21 Young George Edward 174. We're out here in Richmond Street. 10 4, copy. Target license plate. 2 1 Young George Edward 174. No 1099. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do is he has five citations registered to a Drake Avante. And he's parked a little further out in the actual street than I like. You can see it's a terrible parking job. So uh, we're going to go ahead and actually do a little bit of traffic enforcement here. And we're going to get uh, dispatch here. Ocean 21 need a uh, tow truck at my location, Richmond Street. Right here at the uh, college campus. Thank you. Roger. Okay, and then I have another vehicle right here behind me back over here. And uh, he could be posing a little bit of a threat to some of the students over here. But it looks like he... Uh, let's see if he'll actually stop. Hopefully, see if he won't go code 3. Okay, dispatch, I need a um, play check here. Right next to the college campus in Richmond Street. The Primo 89 William Young Edward 891. Acknowledged. Suspect's like. It's probably gonna come back stolen. 89 William Young Edward there we go. 891. A possible stolen vehicle. Supposed to be registered to a Gene Langlo, but there's a good chance he might try to run on me, but we have the advantage because uh, he's, he's ha he has to go uphill, so. Attention all units. Backup required in. Uh, We're gonna get the uh, local Richmond. law enforcement in here. Because I'm just campus police. And then uh, we'll uh, probably end up pulling him out of there. It looks like it's occupied one time. Okay, here they come. Alright, get out of there, lady. 
Get down on the ground. Get down. Yep, get those weeds right in your mouth. <laughs> okay. We got her under a row. Whoa, hello. Whoa. Are you serious? That was epic. <laughs> this guy's name is Carl. Carl, I want to let you know that was pretty epic there, sir. He always is he's such a show off. Here, I'm going to put him in here. Alright, ma'am, get in there, please. Alright, thank you, Carl. Appreciate you putting her in there. Roger. Carl, make sure you pat her down, please. Stolen vehicle. Okay, we're going to take a peek at this real fast. We'll let uh, Carl, since he was a uh, show off there, we'll let him kind of handle that. Victoria London is her name. Let me look her up real fast. See what she has going against her. Got a suspended license as well. Okay. Ocean 21 dispatch again. Need a uh, tow truck at my location, Richmond Street, right next to the college campus. 10 4, copy. Okay. Thank you, dispatch. Appreciate that. And they are sending a uh, tow truck to my location. And uh, we're going to loop back around. And we're going to continue on our patrol. Anyways, guys, hope you've been enjoying the uploads lately. And uh, last time I did a college-style patrol, I think you guys like this too. So that tells me that I have uh, maybe a lot of college viewers out there. And I uh, appreciate that. What is going on right here? There's always seems to be a little bit of a traffic congestion right here. I don't know what, what the deal is. We'll let them kind of deal with all that. Serious? And we got a lot of uh, drugs on the college campus as well. But uh, like I said, I doubt we'll probably take any like official calls because they're probably going to take us, you know, like way out in the city or something. Hope you guys understand that. I'm hoping a little bit get a little more uh, GTA. Yeah, it comes alive, you know, actually, here again, like that uh, clown, right? Shouldn't be dressed up like a clown on a college campus, carrying a Jerry's can, gas can. I hope you guys know that. I, I mean, I did that mainly because it, it was just, it was kind of like, uh, why do people climb mountains? Because they're there, right? Well, there's a Jerry's can sitting next to a clown, so I had no choice. I'm sure you guys understand. You know, it's funny, I can still hear, you know, the car alarms as if it's like right next to me and that's clear across campus. U-L-S-A. Have to remember that. After all, I work here, so I think I'd remember. Okay, I'm looking for anything that could be, you know, abnormal. Anyway, you know, anything standing out. Okay, we're still patrolling around the uh, college campus here and uh, the university. And uh, we do have a vehicle that's been here for a while. And he's parked up right up next to the, uh, technically this is considered a fire lane right here. Especially right next to the college uh, university here. So I want to go ahead and do a um, plate check here. Uh, dispatch, we need a plate check on a black cavalcade. It's going to be 28 boy Frank Charles 533. And uh, he's parked right here at the uh, red zone at the university. 10 4, copy. Just looking over the vehicle here. Let's see if things, you know. Target license plate. We're not going to search it. 28 boy Frank. Charles 
Okay, well, he's got five citations and it's registered to a Joey Brooks, so how about we have a little bit of fun, right? And uh, we'll call his insurance company. <laughs> That's right. We'll have his car repossessed. He's got four citations anyway, right? All right, so they're going to come and repossess his car with Calvocate here. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We had to spice up the episode a little bit. Hope you understand. Okay, here they come. Oh, I'm good. He's not. All right, it's probably one of the teachers probably owns that car, so... Hey, you know, I told him 20 times not to park there. Just kind of role play with me a little bit. Hello there. We have a gentleman over here that uh, seems to be maybe a little intoxicated to some degree. Alright, sir. Sir. Right, this guy right here. Stop, please. All right, what's going on with you? What's your ID? His name is Adrian Scarlett. Gotten some uh, reports about a yeah, gentleman out of here. The light jacket and a red shirt doesn't belong on campus. I don't know if this is the guy or not. Okay. Alright, well, there's not much to really hold him here. We're just gonna go ahead and ask ask him to leave Sorry, the campus. Okay? Let's just settle this quietly, alright? Alright. Leave the campus, please. Oh hey. I'm good. Just keeping it one hundred. Especially he's not a student. Okay, we are continuing on our patrol here and uh, what we're doing is we're looking we just got a call from dispatch. Uh, we were just warned that we had a gentleman, like a large, kind of overweight gentleman, that is, uh, he has an orange shirt on, that has been harassing people out here on campus, making uh, sexual advances for some of the women out here on the campus. And uh, looks like we got a gentleman right out here. This is about where he was doing the, the acts, according to some of the eyewitnesses. And, this is him right over here, I think. We're going to go up here and question him. I'm going to bring my vehicle a little closer. Hey, whatever. Okay. So he's got his phone out. I think he's been trying to videotape people out here. Alright, sir. How's it going? Alright, it's so, uh, University Police. Need to see your ID, please. John McCarran. Okay, Mr. McCarran, the reason why I'm coming up and talking to you is we're getting some reports that uh, there was a man out here sexually harassing some of the females out here. One second, please. Okay, I'm going to look him up over here. Ah, uh, let's see. Let me do a brief, quick brief because I forgot how to spell his name already. Uh, John McCarran, okay. I was tempted to spell it like that. Okay. Well, he doesn't have any kind of warrant or anything like that. However, I think I got some, you know enough proof here to go ahead and uh, put him under arrest. So you're going to be putting him under arrest here. You're under arrest. And uh, I need to pat you down real fast. I believe that you were actually uh, out here taking pictures of people and actually sexually harassing some of the women out here. So I need you to take a seat. I'm going to call in dispatch here. For a suspect placed under arrest in Richmond. This is Ocean One. We can get that. Roger. Okay, Ocean One's going to come pick him up. 
Okay guys, this is going to go ahead and do our episode here for today. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Make sure if you're brand new, make sure that you think about subscribing. I try to do something a little unique, you know, every now and then like this. I do a lot of uh, uh, like DEA style episodes as well as just the Los Santos Police Department, you know, the actual Blaine County Sheriff and even FBI style patrols. So make sure you check back often and make sure you hit that little bell icon that's right next to the subscribe button. That will notify you of all videos that I upload, which is pretty often. Take care guys and we'll see you next time on the next patrol.